Okay, so today I wanted to discuss um, the Ford Motorcraft procedures for pulling cylinder heads off of the 6.0, 6.4, and 6.7. Um, when you work at a dealership, you have um, access to uh, the workshop manuals. Um, and it's pretty much vehicle specific. It, I can, um, I have the ability to use IDS, plug IDS into your vehicle. Um, it pulls up your VIN number, pulls up a, a OASIS on the vehicle to, you know, things that have been done, if it's under warranty, who owns the vehicle. Everything I need to know about that vehicle, I can actually look at with the Ford IDS system and the, uh, uh, the Ford service uh, uh, network. Now, at the um, at the dealerships and the way that we're taught through uh, Motorcraft is a lot different than um, other diesel techs at different shops. And I've noticed this uh, every shop that you every shop that you talk to, and I guarantee this as a basic customer, every shop that you talk to, and they're going to ask um, how do you pull the heads off a six liter or a six four, and they're going to say, oh, we pull the cab. There's a couple reasons why the shops do this, and I can only guess why. But when it comes down to uh, you know me doing this in my own personal shop, I don't pull cabs. I showed videos on how successful it is to not pull a cab and remove cylinder heads. I haven't done one yet for the 6.4. I'll get there. Uh, I've just been really busy. Um, or pulling motors too. I'm, I'm, I'll get to that on uh, that video as well. Um, but uh, uh, right now, I want to show you what I see on the uh, through the Motorcraft uh, work pay, uh, workbook. Basically, it's the uh, we call it the workshop manual, um, and it shows us the procedures, the tools to use, and um, it basically gives me everything on how to. Uh, remove anything out of, out of your truck or uh, any Ford car so um, basically I'll show you how this works and uh, you can you know take this as your own opinion but when people say you know oh the only way to pull the heads off a six o or 6.4 is by pulling a cab that's not true and that's not the way that Ford designed that either um, they just um, they're followers and they're following what all the shops are doing and and uh you know it, there is some nice things about pulling a cab um it gives you a little bit of room but you don't really need that for you know the job that you're doing um so i'm gonna go over you know how motorcraft has designed this and and i'm gonna go over the motorcraft book with you and show you how the procedure is supposed to take place and how uh motorcraft is taught uh, us diesel techs that you know get information uh, through Ford um, how to do it so uh, let's check this out and I'll show you how this works okay so when you first get onto the motorcraft service stuff and you want to go for a workshop manual if I had your truck plugged in it'll pull a VIN number um, I can do previous VINs here or um, right here is if I have the IDS plugged in, I can just go right off the IDS and it'll pull your VIN number and it also pulls up the, the DTC codes and it puts it right here and um, I can scan them or it just, it tells me how to fix them. It goes basically right to the diagnostic sheet for each uh, DTC. But uh, since I don't have the IDS plugged into this computer at the moment and a vehicle plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, um, how we do this manually. So let's go ahead and look at a 2005 uh, Ford F350. Okay, uh, I don't care about that. Let's go to workshop manual. Okay, so here's a workshop manual for all the 2005s, no matter what engine is in it. So now we're just go here and we're going to look up our motor. Let's go 60 power stroke in vehicle repair. Scroll down and let's go to the cylinder head right hand side. So now this shows you how what tools are needed to remove the cylinder head on the right side. And it's just a step by step process here. There's nothing in here that says pull the cap. Ok, 
Okay, so this is all taking the rotor out, putting it back in. Um, so this is the end of the removal here. Okay, and if you notice uh, the Ford Motorcraft pictures here, they uh, removed the air conditioner box. But in my video, I show you how to get around that so you don't have to get this box out. Um, you can leave all your AC stuff alone. So we'll go ahead and go to the uh, the other side here, and it's the same thing. Step by step, how to remove your cylinder head and everything in it. I don't pull the uh, gold plugs out um, <laughs> until the cylinder head's out of the motor, so or the injectors. I leave all the injectors in there as well. Um, rocker arms and all that stuff you have to pull out, and uh, you also have to pull out the the push rods. I leave the rocker box attached to the head. Because um, I use the rocker box. Um, the tool, um, I use the lift bracket. I have this lift bracket here. Um, if you don't have the lift bracket, you can use a chain and you can chain up. Um, I chained up on the, on the video I shot for you guys because I wanted you to see, um, you know, you don't really need any specialty tools to pull a cylinder head out. Um, I did it successfully with a chain. And, you know, if you're only going to do it once or you plan on only doing it once, um, the chain works fine. Um, I do it pretty much every week, so I just use the, I have a lift bracket, and I use a lift bracket. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier um, and quicker, um, so it's better time consuming for me. So this is all, um, you know, putting it back in. I don't know why they have you disconnect the downpipe. That's kind of a stupid thing to do, because I can take the white pipe out all in one shot. Um, and so there's nothing on here for removing uh you know even removing the engine they don't have you pull the cab they have you take everything off the front of the vehicle and they have you pull it right out the front because ford likes to use this special we have this special uh, engine lift bracket and this bolts to the front of the motor and then it has like an all thread uh that goes to the back uh passenger side uh, lift bolt that's on the top of the rocker box and that al allows us to adjust for the angle and the, the or the pitch of the motor and then uh we just use a cherry pick it hooks right into the cherry picker so it lifts it right up um, out of the out of the truck but this is procedure for pulling the engine out and uh basically everything you need to do to get the engine out and put it back in so still nothing on here for pulling a cab and let's see that, that there's a picture on how that works there so disassembly engine it shows you how to disassemble the motor all the specialty tools that you need um, so once you get the motor out it shows you everything that you need to do for that um, again no pulling the cab uh, let's see here installation engine installation they have you go right through the front no cab pulling lead needed so let's go to the six fours so we'll go to the engine we'll go to 2008 we'll go to f350 now on the 2008 we change things uh, they kind of change things in here because a lot of people were pulling cabs so they did a removal, and they did cylinder head body on or body off. So even though it's a 6.4, you can still do it with the body on. And uh, you know, the engine stand that they have you use. Um, so this is body on procedure for cylinder head. And again, it's still doable without pulling the cab. Again, same lift bracket. And there's, to be honest with you, there's actually more room on the 6.4s to pull the cylinder heads out than there is the 6.0s. 6.0s are a little tighter. Um, but still, I can remove the cylinder heads on the 6.4 without pulling the cab. Here's body off procedure. So basically, it just shows you how to do it with body off. It's pretty straightforward. Um, 
engine removal, body on, same thing. It's pretty much the same as the 6.0. Um, pull it right out the front. It uses the same tools as the 6.0s do. Um, now I want to get into the 6.7s. 6.7s are kind of nice because on their um, server here, it shows you how to, uh, on, their, on their how to stuff, it's all 3D CAD, which makes it pretty nice, but um, removal, let's see here, engine and cylinder head, removal and insulation, that's hand side, let's go right hand side because those are all really tiny, so, it doesn't say anything in here about pulling the motor, or pulling the cab up. So, again, you don't need to pull a cab. Engine, rear cover, front cover, body on, body off, or removal of the engine. Cylinder head. Let's see here. They have a different specialty tool for removing the cylinder heads. Uh, valve spring compressor. So they made it to where you can do um, well, this is all the cylinder head removal and installation stuff for the valves. So they use a specialty uh, tool for the valve spring compressor because the freaking heads are so damn big. Uh, by the way, I have the 6.4 heads in stock um, if anybody needs them. Um, I have uh, one set on the shelf right now, but they are built to order. They come with, uh, again, one millimeter over valves. Um, I'm cutting those at 45 degree angles, and uh, uh, they have uh, steel valve guides. Um, and uh, uh, nickel hardened valve seats. Um, so yeah, if you guys need cylinder heads for the 6.7s, I have those ready to rock and roll. Um, there's piston stuff here. I like the I like the way they did all the new CAD stuff on the 6.7s, so it makes it a lot easier to, to work on these things. Um, but again, um, like I said, uh, people wanted to test me on, on sending me emails saying that there's no way to you know, the right way to pull, uh, do cylinder head work and stuff like that on, uh, on these trucks. And, uh, you know, to technically speaking, pulling this, uh, pulling the cab isn't the right way. Um, but, uh, for me, it's a big liability and I'm not going to do, uh, you know, I, I don't like having weight over my head like that. Um, but, uh, if, uh, you know, for the shops that do want to do it, you know, go right ahead. But um, I'm showing you guys, you know, how I do things by the book, and uh, it's pretty simple. I can have heads off. Uh, I, I time myself um, just cranking nonstop. Uh, me and another person, I can have heads off in four and a half hours um, without, you know, pulling the cab. So uh, just to get the cab lifted up and everything, I'm looking about four and a half hours, uh, sometimes longer. Um, excursions take a little longer but uh, anyways this is just a, a video to show you how um, how Ford you know text uh, how Ford's designed uh, the head to be removed on the 6 O's and the 6 4's and uh, I'm actually showing you guys how to work on these trucks by the book so uh, I give you a little bit of shortcuts here and there um, just because I've done this hundreds of times um, but uh, you know, I'm just trying to help you guys out and uh, if you like the, uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, and you need help with your vehicle, uh, feel free to send me an email or uh, you can, you know, call me direct um, and uh, make sure, or leave a comment. Um, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.